Hello everyone, today I have one of the most exciting videos I've filmed or anything I've found Pokemon related in quite some time. So uh, you, I bet you've heard it already, Ultra Prism is back. And I found all these, I found a whole booster box. I mean, I found, there was a little more, but I just grabbed 36 packs. Imagine finding 36 packs of Ultra Prism in Walmart. Well, I did, and surprisingly it wasn't it didn't seem to be picked over at all i think i got like it looked like they just plopped the case down probably just came today to be honest but i'm surprised no one was prepared for it because you lately i have not been able to find anything at walmart new besides rebel clash because i mean rebel clash is like you know once you get once you buy a couple boxes of, of, of rebel clash you get you get your boss's orders or whatever you're pretty much done because i don't I, I can't remember a lot of memorable pokemon in the set it's more more of like a collect um not a collector it's more of a player's set which is nice we don't get those too often if you play the game but this is actually really good because to get 36 packs sealed in a booster box it was like 500 dollars on ebay no joke like, and people would not budge on that because there was nothing Ultra Prism related. But anyways, I'll get into this because we have probably the biggest Ultra Prism opening I've done because I don't think I even opened a lot of this. I don't think I even opened a lot of this when it came out. I think I only, I, I think it was a very popular set. It's probably one of my favorite sets because it's got Cynthia, it's got the gold legendaries in there. So we got some good stuff. I got some, I got some Charizards in the back because they're they're going for a lot of money now. Everyone likes Charizard. That's always been the case, but now it seems like everyone's just gonna go broke because all the all the big Charizards are like hundreds of dollars now, even the recent ones. And so comment below what your favorite part of Ultra Prism is and what you think about the reprint because it's pretty exciting that they they reprinted such. I mean, it's kind of a random set to reprint, but I guess maybe because uh, Sun and Moon, so I'm doing three, three in uh, energy. It's gotta be energy, right? Good, Leaf energy. Speaking of Leaf energy, Leafeon. I love Leafeon. I think Glaceon is in this set too. Great, my favorite evolutions. Gen 4 was like a great theme in this. That's why I loved it so much. All right, so we're good with that. So just comment your favorite card in the set. There's a lot to love in this set. Magneton. Rangro, this is a great competitive card, actually. A lot of great stuff. I think rotation is happening very soon, and I think we'll. I, don't, I won't be able to use that Rangro anymore, but still a nice card. Oh, Tartara, I love it. Love the Hollow version. Oh, right away. Okay, Dong Donglings Necrozma. Just as in, the, I mean, I think that was a Dong Donglings Necrozma pack. So we're doing great so far. I'll put the poles right in front, right on this Charizard tin right here. So I'm curious about what the pull rates are going to be on these little things because they're in like a little. I, I opened them all already because it would take so long. This video is already probably going to be a half an hour, but it would have been even longer. I'm curious what the pull rate's going to be. I'm curious if they're going to load these with like good poles. Or if we're going to see, like, you know, I mean, we already got a GX, so maybe we're not going to see, like, you know, all dud packs. Like, they put all the way in. They pulled all the leftover garbage in there. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Chirim. Gumshoes. That's the promo I got, unfortunately. Ancient Crystal. Chimchar. Sneasel. Lickitung. Carnivine. Glamial. Yeah, all these Gen 4 Pokemon. Turtwig. I love it. Classic art right there, and a Roserade. Pretty sure I used that in my pre I definitely remember playing pre-release for this set. So I got the gum juice, which was, could have been better. All right, let's see, did I show the, uh, I'll just show the code cards. I might as well, that's a lot of Ultra Prism that people are, they're gonna be looking forward to. I think there's a great, all oh, the Rotoms. Love the Rotoms. Someone's outside. Um, Unit Energy, that's also, oh man. This brings me back. I was definitely playing the TCG when this came out, like the competitive wise when this came out. Oh, yep, Gable Guard Jump. 
I remember all that. Chimchar. Pokemon Fan Club. That's not a bad card either. Oh, and there it is. The Garchomp. It is a regular rare in this set. It became a ground type. It was probably better when I was fighting. But, um, let's see. I'm going to have a mess here. I already have no organization here. Let me put a Ranger. I'll put all my playable cards here. Let me put the rares here. Energy up. Whatever. Do some sun and moon energy again. Then. So we did get a GX so far, so I'm pretty hopeful about the overall pull rate. So we'll we'll do a we'll do a quick comparison at the end and see how we did. I, I forget the uh, the pull rates of Ultra Prison Booster boxes. I don't think I even opened one. I wish I did because that probably would have gave me more light. Okay, another gum juice. That another Sneasel. That probably would have been my best chance of getting Cynthia. And yeah, probably, you know what? I, I definitely, look at Lily, I definitely should have picked up a booster box had I known they were short, such a short supply. But they got reprinted and we are basking ourselves in some ultra prison. Which is great. Love it. I probably, I, I, I'm so used to just Tossing that code card away, I haven't shown it. Let's see, what energy can we get? Fire type? Electric type. I don't remember any electric types in this set. It's probably not an electric type GX in this set. I don't think it was. Well, man, that would be a, I, 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 to my, to this day, I don't understand. Let's just see, regular rare, I think that was a good card at some point. I don't understand why Electivirus has never gotten, I think it's gotten a level X, but it has not gotten an Ultra Rare in like ages, and I, I just don't understand, because it's just such a nice card, like a nice Pokemon, and it always gets the regular Rare treatment. And to me, that's just like mind-blowing, like a lot of people I feel like like Electivirus, ooh, Cynthia, good card. It's definitely, it's definitely, ooh, a Skateboard, another great card. I'm gonna miss the skateboard. Look, but we do have what is that thing called? Uh, whatever the two or three costing is. Ooh, is that we buy a hollow? Okay, this was also an interesting deck when it came out. Nice hollow, so we'll put that right there. One hollow. Cynthia, we could put. We have a lot of a lot of playable cards in this set. Gonna be oh I think Lil I think Lily the new art is in this set too right? What a great set. Great to see. I'm hoping for at least I'm hoping for at least um one like full art one. I would love a rainbow rare. Get some higher rarity cards out of this set because we will. It's just so rare to see Ultra Prism Palpad. That's a nice card. Ripataz, I think <laughs> one of the funniest attacks because you gotta wait until you got three or fewer cards in your deck and then you can just start going off. Some really interesting Pokemon in this. Oh, Leafy on GX, there it is. I have, I did pull the hyper rare of this, one of the few higher rarity cards I got out of this set. That's Definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite Pokemon in this set. Just such an awesome card. And I, this is actually the first set that had Prism cards, so. I think those were like, what, one in like 10 packs, I think. So those, we should be seeing some of those. I'll probably see some black border in the pack. I think I just saw one, but we don't know. Vulpix, Stunky, Young Goose. Yep, there it is, Cyrus. Cyrus. Um, you can play this card only if you're active. I think they did the Arata finally on the, because for the longest time they said they were going to change it, and then we never changed it. I forget if this is the old one or the new one. I, th I think this is the new one. So I think it didn't say something about it having to be your active Pokemon. I said I think it said something about it being in play. So why not put the old 
Osiris Prism Star. Fire energy. Let's see what we can get. Probably Sun Tank. Electric memory, that's right, we have memories. Pretty much everything in the set is Gen 4 related, except for, you know, the legendaries of Sun and Moon. Hippopotamus. Oh, that's a hollow, hollow Rampardos. Um, we go. Yeah, that's, if that wasn't a stage two, that would be really, really nice. Not in this format, because it hits evolution Pokemon in it. We were in, I think we were in an evolution type of drum back then. It was not bad to have an attack like that. That's your prism. That was a green or that was a green code card. But we will go through it. What do we got here? Fighting energy. Front zone. Missing clover. Printful. Venary. Morlow. Magmar. Chimchar. Sneasel, Unit Energy Reverse, very different looking card right there, and a Obama Stone, the Blessings of the Frost. Yeah, they did that thing with it. I think they made a Grass type Obama Stone in the future too, or maybe this was a different type. They they definitely played around with some of the types in this set. on a four i don't know i don't know I've, it's always weird getting like you know like non-booster box product and because you never really know electric energy i don't know what i'm showing i think i showed that instead of the code card so i show the code card all right that's the code card i don't know if that's the last one or not Okay, let's see. Spiritum, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Rotom, another favorite Pokemon. Drifloon, Alolan Sandshrew, Hippopotas, Priolu, awesome. I think I think um, Lucario GX is in this set. Ooh, Dark Rai Prism, and a Watch Realm. Okay, that's right. We might be able to do the uh, Prism Star Ultra Rare Pack. We could get both. I think we're just about halfway through. Fire Memory, Bronze On, Missing Clover, Venarium, Carnivine, Steezel, Eevee, Magmar, Fire Memory. This, this is, oh, another Rotom. This is definitely something I remember from this set. This set gives you a lot of Rotoms. Yeah, I think we're like definitely following through. Pretty, I mean, I forget like what, how many ultra rares you would get from an ultra prison booster box. I'm wondering like how we're doing because we got two so far. Is that like a little light? Seems a little light, but if it had anything like Crimson Invasion for it, it's, oh, I'm off camera. The skateboard, another great card. The Simeon, Shinx, Execute, Magnemite, Weasel. Wash Rotom Reverse and a Drapion. That's with Poison Psychic Energy. Mm, okay, I got it. There is a Rotom deck that does pretty well and it's banded. That's really fun to play, and I definitely will be able to build it after this, this set. <laughs> it's great once you get rid of that ability. Or once you can, or well, you can, you can, you can toss two of like up to mile and it's banded. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I would probably expect to get one to two, one to two full arts, maybe a secret rare, get something, something, 
something of higher rarity. I don't want to be like like Crimson Invasion for whatever reason. That's a Pokemon or po po Pokemon Fan Club, not Pokemon Communication. I don't think that's in this set. <laughs> One thing about, like, sets like Crimson Invasion, like, early Sun and Moon sets, it's a lie, I like that. I like that Pokemon. One thing about early Sun and Moon sets, like, Between Burning Shadows and, um, Between Burning Shadows and I think Ultra Prism was, like, the first one to actually bump up the pull rates. I don't really remember. The Cresselia was a rare. You would go, I, I, it was weird. I would go like, I, I opened more Crimson Invasion than I should have. And like, wow, you, you would get like no, no full arts. You would just get, or actually, I think you would get, just get like no regular GXs or anything. I would just get hollows for days on that set. Really, there it is. Fabulous. I think there's a, oh. That's what I got from this set. I should have put, I have Full Art Lily somewhere around here. That, that beautiful Full Art, it's definitely in this set. One of my favorite, oh, I'm pulling. One of my favorite trainer cards like ever. I think I pulled it once. One of the few things I've gotten out of Ultra Prism. And I thought it was a rainbow red because it's just so bling. It's so beautiful. One of my favorite cards ever. All right, what's the cool card in there? Upside down. We definitely hit a snag with the ultra rares. I haven't seen an ultra rare or a. Have we even? Yeah, we've seen some hollows, but not really. Is that reverse hollow? Yep. Yeah, but like super. We're definitely hitting a hitting a little bit of a snag here, and I might have to say the four it's made it pretty weird. Like I definitely got a GX. I got a GX in the first pack, and then ever since then, that's like I haven't hit a lot. Well, you never know. The the, the second half, the, the way they load these products, I bought most of them in the in the pack. You know, they could load it weird. Like you know, you got. You got one side that has like no ultra rays and all of a sudden you're hitting like in the like the boxes I bought in the back, you could have like tons in a row. You never really know what Pokemon. That's what's interesting about it. Ooh, Lunala. That was, that's a good Prism Scar card. And another Rota. <laughs> Definitely a really pretty one. One of my favorites. And this one was pretty good in Psychic Decks for a while. Just because of how how much HP it's got, how much, it was a good attack. It was, it was good in, I think, um, Malamar Maybe a lot. last pack of the half, actually. So let's see if we can't, what's not on an ultra rare? I would like to see something better. Something a little better than a regular rare, which we've seen a lot of. So if we could see a nice, beautiful, even just a regular GX, I think I'd be happy. Another hollow, I'd be like, okay, you know. All right, and it's, it's a hollow. Okay, I can't be too mad. Well, you know, I don't think, I, I think this is an official Pokemon product, so I don't think they could really, I don't think they would weigh it. It's weird, because every evolution pack, every evolution pack I found in like, every evolution, I mean, Every evolution pack I found in like product like always gives me a full art. So I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if we get some like, weird ratios in here. One, two, three. Looks you Looker. Shield on. Lamiao. Driftloon. Alone and Sandshrew. Hippopotas. Ryalu. Give me a Lucario. Another dark shell. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have put the mess to clean up after this. But it's like one of those bittersweet moments where you're like, yes, I just tore through a booster box. I love everything except for the amazing health tuna. Really, really 
hoping we get something. Like this is one of those. This is one of those Walmart products. If it's a Walmart product, I think they're like weird hidden fates things. Oh look at that pimple! I love it. I think their hidden fates things had like lower pull rates for for some reason. All right, and now, now they're wrote on. I'm gonna have to guy. Uh, they're too unorganized at this point. It's a big pile on the right. But I gotta see how many Rotoms I pull after this. Another Ranger, that's pretty good. I like how they, I like how they usually give Ranger, like, not the most exciting Pokemon, but somehow it, like, always gets, like, the best, like, the best attacks, the best ability. It's like the one in, in Standard right now has a great ability. Ranger usually gets some, some love, just like Garbodor. Palpat, Spiritomb, Gumshoes, Magmar, Chimchar, Sneasel, Lickitung, Carnivine, Kranidos, and Lillian Sanchez. And we're doing like really, really low pull rate right now. And I, like to, to, to the point where like if I didn't get the GXs in the first half, I'd say like something weird is up. Like, but you never know. Like you could just get like, like like this isn't like a straight up booster box, so you you can't you, you might not get like you know booster box type ratios, which usually like nice. Volkner is a card that I really wanted for a while and I could not could not get. Snuggly generator. All right, that's the electric. That's the electric. I mean, there's really not. I don't think there's electric ultra in this set. Ooh, a hollow infernape. We're on the hollow grind right. Hollow grind right now. Besides hollows, we haven't gotten anything in like ten packs at least. It's really, really interesting to see. On tank, Electric Memory, Electabuzz, Shimchar, Bachirisu, Lone Sancho, Lone Volpex, two Lones in a row, Lucario. Is that Lucario? I think Lucario GX was for Ben White. And look at Lily. Excuse me. So that was. I think that's. That might not be the other card. I think that's all. Awesome. weird because it feels like it feels like these are weighted packs but I mean I could get like you know a bonkers pull as soon as I say you know like if I start talking smack about the packs maybe that's what I need to do like Ultra Prism is now garbage and all of a sudden you get like a good pull another hollow wow okay all right Ultra Prism maybe I really need to lay into you man that's See all these hollows. It's weird to see all, all these hollows in a row. That was a white code card you guys saw, so hopefully I get something like, you know, something juicy out of these packs. It's weird to go a whole whole booster box worth and not get like a single full art. Like I'm talking about Crimson Invasion and dragging that. Maybe I should freaking just lay into your Ultra Prism now. And just be like, you know what? Oh, another hollow. <laughs> I was about to say, you know what, Ultra Prism? I'm gonna cuss you out now. Ultra Prism giving us giving us the keys here. Giving us some some rough pulls. Okay. At the end of the day, you know what? You gotta add to your Rotom collection. Wow. I'll be honest, this is, this is really, really strange. Alright, white co guard, guys. At this point, I'm just going through the green co cards because I'm. I'm like getting impatient. I'm like, come on, give me something here, guys. Let's go. 
from Volkner, Granados, a little in Dog Trio. Give me the, see, it said Gold Rush. That means we're gonna get a gold card. Gold card. Gold card. Dustman the Charisma. We got both of the pack art. Actually, I think, you know what? That's interesting. We got Dustman the Charisma. A uh, Dongling is Necrozma and a Leaf Fan. What is the other pack card? Oh, Garatina Prison. So we, we have we, the only pack card we haven't pulled right now is Garatina Prison. But we got our third Ultra Ray as a box. Like, thank God. We got something. I'm really looking for. Oh, this was a, this is a good card. This this is a good card. That's another rare. Looker. I'm looking for some pulls. Tapulele, that's that, that's a good. That, that that used to be one of those decks where I'm like, yeah, this this deck, it wasn't doing much to me. It was spreading some damage counters, and then in the last turn, I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's not gonna happen. All right, white gold card. I'm expecting great things, Ultra Prism. I missed you. Give me something, Cynthia. I think I already have three Cynthia's. I think I got at least three. I might even have a full playset. So if I was a player right now, I'd be very happy. But as a collector, I need the juice. Heatran. Ooh, Ooh Heatran. Heatran Hollow. How many Hollows are, I, I got, I, I'm gonna have to, I, I've, I've actually started putting Hollows into the stack here because I've got so many of them. I'm gonna have to go back and see. Oh, no. We got problems here. The setup is falling apart because there are too many cards and not enough pulls. All right, let's see. We got seven packs left, so we're we're getting down to the tail end here. I'm really looking forward to the you know being with the being with the juice out of nowhere. Really looking forward to some awesome pulls. Not pouring out, that used to be a good card. It's just weird, because, you know, you see, you would expect to see more pulls. That, I'll be honest, that, that Dawn and Crosma at the beginning, I was like, I was like, yes, this is going to be awesome. I love it. Pull rates, like, I've never seen before. And then, and then it just, you know, it just dropped off. What are you doing, Ultra Prism? I mean, it's kind of too raw. I, I'll have to watch, I think, Breaking Nate. He already opened it. I, I didn't even watch his opening of Ultra Prism. But I'll have to watch him and see how he does. Because if he gets, like, full arts, like, no tomorrows or something, then I'll be like, okay, we should find out. That and I don't care about that. Okay. White coat card. I'm probably, uh, probably after this, I'm probably going to stop looking at the code cards. See if I can surprise myself. Pokemon Fan Club. Randidos. Weasel. Eevee. Solandit. Turtwig. Rhyolu. Gabite. And another Drampa Hollow. What? I'm going to, I know the title of this video. It's going to be like Hollow, Ultra, Ultra Hollow Prism. I've, I've never, I've never seen such a high auto rate. Like what? What in the world? All right. Oh, I already gave away the screen. Have I shown the code card? I feel like this is one of those weird videos where I was like so gassed up at the beginning and then I like slowly just get like, wow. Like, wow, Drake on a reverse rare. How many reverse rares have we got? Probably a lot, actually. And it's like, I like that, but I'd also like at least one full art. Please? We got, we got three packs here. Three packs to pull for. I would be ecstatic if we pull a full art at this point. Like, this is like, this is like, I want a full art to close this off. Because we got... We, we don't have a lot to show for our, our, 
our 36 packs here, which is nuts to me. I think I, I, I remember Ultra Prism just having higher pull rates than that. Controlled burn. Yeah, you're, you're, you're definitely burning me, Ultra Prism. Oh, another Drapion. I think I have more Drapions than anything else. Gardenia. I think Gardenia. Oh, I remember. I think I pulled a Gardenia full art, too. See, all these great full arts that I could be having, and I just, uh, I pulled some, some GX. It's just one of those weird, oh, weird openings that I feel like I, <laughs> I bought the wrong box. to get a surprise full art. Come on, Ultra Prism. I know you can do it. Volkner, Cranidos, Turtwig, Electabuzz, Cherubi, Glamiao, Snover. Let's go. Come on, Ultra Prism. Oh. <gasps> God, you have got to be joking. Ultra Prism. I'm going to have a heart attack. What in God's name? Oh my God, I can't believe it. I thought I was going to have the rage and just be like, you know what? This booster box was trash, but wow. Suddenly, Ultra Prism said, damn, you're coming back in. Get back here. Finish opening this box. Wow. If there was a pull I wanted to get in this box, it was definitely this one. Wow. <sighs> Man. That's 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 the juice right there. Holy crap. Whew. Excuse my um excuse my team galactic language right there. All right, I need to get my sleeves that I have now bared because I didn't even use them. All right, we'll, we'll put you in a Lost Thunder theme, themed uh, sleeve because that is great. Oh, God. Come on, please don't drop. All right, this is... All right, let's look at this. Um, so, hard to say, but I think we got like a little lopsided centering on the front. And a little... Um, a little good. It looks good. It looks pretty, pretty nice on the back. A little, little top heavy, maybe. Hard to say. So, I mean, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if it's, it's probably going to be another, I have a backlog. My next video is probably going to be cards I want to grade because I have so many cards that I just haven't sent because PSA has been like, you know, kind of down lately because of the, all our little COVID things. But definitely one of the, one of the cards I would like to grade, maybe centering i always get worried about the centering now because it seems like psa is like whoa if you're if you don't got a perfectly centered card you're not psa 10 which is true but yeah car, english cards these days are really hard really hard to get graded psa 10 simply because simply because of the centering i feel the condition's been a lot better because it used to be like uh, you know, like, you got, like, scalps and stuff on English cars. The quality wasn't as good. But, look her whistle. Um, two, oh, yeah, this, the other, I think there was a judge whistle. That was, the, that was a good card. All right, I got Lily. All right, you know what? I got, I think I got all the full art ladies from this set now. Ultra Prism, I love you. I don't care. You, you, you brought me through something here. And I still love you. All right, regular rare on the end. But we fin we finished on. I think it, I think it's I don't think it's the best possible amount because I'm sure. I'm sure those goldy cards are going for a little more now. But dang, I'd be wrong to trash my beautiful full art Cynthia. Look at that. And you see, we didn't get much else here. We only got you know. As I just destroy the set. The set is destroyed. Cynthia has just destroyed everything. It's a mess. But we got... We got one of... Where's that? The GX. 
Do, do, do. We started off with our old dude here. Dongman's Necrozma, Ren Mortar Pad. See, not bad. I mean, very, very low on the on the pull rates, I feel, but you know, I can't be mad. So, I mean, my recommendation, my recommendation when you, uh, when you buy these, just remember that Ultra Prism is, I think it's a full reprint. So just remember that, you know, I think that they're, they're a little, they're a little high on the price wise. So I don't think I got my like value back, but you know, if you're looking for your, your, your girl Cynthia and other things, there's some, there's some great things in Ultra Prism, you know, and if you, if you want, just, you know, pick up those things and keep them sealed even because Ultra Prism is just bonkers it was bonkers expensive this reprint might not be the case because it's like that walmart was like full of it but i think it's worth keeping that stuff sealed because people love ultra prism i love ultra prism and that's it for this one i think next video you'll see me it'll be like a psa submission i'll show off cards that i want to psa submit i'll show off my snazzy cards we'll, we'll see i'll see you guys next time I'm rambling on long enough. It's been a 30, 30, 30 ish minute video, but it's been a lovely video because it ended with satisfaction. I'll see you guys next time.